Welcome to another episode of God's Awesome Creation, and today we're going to be taking a look at the honeybee. See, it's difficult to pick out one living thing that God made as being superior to another. Now, of course, my black cat, Charlie, who's on my lap while I do this recording, would be right up there in the number one spot for me. <laughs> but he built into everything the knowledge of what it needs to do in order to survive. Bees are incredible creatures indeed, so I would like to share with you <clears throat> some random facts about bees. By their abundance, you would think that uh, honeybees are native to North America, but such is not the case. They were brought here from Europe in the 1600s by the Puritans. Uh, this next fact seems really, really out there in left field, and, but, it is, but it's true, believe it or not. <laughs> bees have different dialects, just as people do. For example, a bee from Germany cannot understand a bee, say, from Italy or the United States. Did you know that honey will never, ever spoil? Honey that was placed in tombs of Southampton, England, over 400 years ago, was still good to eat when the tombs were opened. And consider um, how lopsided the following is. An average American consumer will eat about a pound of honey per year, which... Uh, which accounts for a lot of hard work <clears throat> by the little bee. A typical worker bee um, lives for one month, and in that time collects enough uh, nectar to make only about one-twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. The bee is amazing in so many ways and on so many levels. Take its sight, for example. It uses ultraviolet vision, a specialized vision that allows them to see what flowers contain the largest amount of nectar. Honey comes <clears throat> in a wide variety of colors and flavors. In fact, <clears throat> more than uh, 300 unique kinds are here in the United States alone. This is because honey is derived from many uh, flower sources, uh, clover, eucalyptus, and orange blossoms. The soil chemistry and honeycomb quality also determine how it will look and how it will taste. And you can't fool a honeybee uh, and it has been tried. For example, a bee will not feed from water that's been artificially sweetened with sweet and low. But uh, it knows the difference. <laughs> Believe me, these uh, few facts don't even scratch the surface of all the incredible things a bee does. Yes, they are indeed masterful creations of God's almighty majesty. Thanks for stopping by, and God bless.